Well, here we are. November 24th, 2020. The College Football Playoff Committee has done it for the first time all season. Their first set of rankings for the 2020 season. And, of course, a bit of obvious stuff out the way. One through four. And maybe five through seven, too. We'll talk about that in a moment. Um, One through four, pretty obvious. Alabama, number one. Notre Dame, number two. Surprisingly enough, Clemson is number three. And maybe it's because the Big Ten didn't start, you know, as early as, you know, it would have liked to be. Ohio State is number four right now. Number five and number six were pretty obvious, along with number seven. Um, number five is Texas A&M. Number six, Florida. Texas A&M has a win over Florida. Florida's looking pretty good right now. Number seven is the undefeated Cincinnati Bearcats. Very highly ranked, undefeated, and could be going into the playoff if things go their way, which it looks like it might be. It might be Cincinnati's time to go to the playoff. You know, a team that's definitely been shafted over the years. I'll never forget, you know, um, which was probably, I mean, 2009 was one of those years there should have been a playoff because Cincinnati should have went into the playoff, went into a playoff game, you know, with like Texas or Alabama or something like that. And, you know, and I forgot who the number four ranked team was back in 09. But that's neither here nor there. Cincinnati's number seven, not surprisingly at all, is number eight. Northwestern, 5-0. and oh. You guys are going to the Big Ten Championship game. And the reason why is because Wisconsin, who is ranked number 16, by the way, lost another game thanks to covid ruining Minnesota, you know, so no Big Ten championship game for Wisconsin. Northwestern is more than likely going to go. Number nine is a bit surprising, you know, I'm thinking that Miami would be here at this spot, or BYU, but BYU is down a little bit lower. Instead, it's Georgia at number nine. I don't know why Georgia's at number nine, you know, we're already overreacting to the first week of rankings because... You know, I can tell you right now that Georgia does not belong at number nine. They do not have any wins that make any sense on here. Um, you know, I mean, there's Auburn, but that that means absolutely nothing. You know, if you lose, if you beat Auburn, Auburn's right twenty-two, by the way. But yeah, Miami's number ten, and then here's another surprise, which I mean, it it should be surprising. But it is surprising. You know, Oklahoma is number 11. They do not lead the Big 12. Despite the fact that they're playing very well, you know who actually leads the Big 12? Iowa State. And where are they? Behind Oklahoma at number 13. Don't know why, but maybe it's because of that loss to uh, Louisiana that really did them in, you know. I don't know. But yeah, number 12 is Indiana. So there's that, you know. Number 12 ranked Indiana. There's that. And then, you know, um, again, number 16 is Wisconsin. Number 15 and number 18 are teams for the Pac-12. USC is at 18, Oregon at 15. Not looking pretty for the Pac-12. Not looking pretty at all. And especially because the teams have already started to cannibalize each other. If cannibalization continues, uh, you know, instead of saying, you know, hey, Pac-12 is out by November, you know, by early November, it could be early December if things do not go too well for the conference. And they got to get something going, you know, this week. And there are big matchups already this week for this conference. And, boy, does USC need to win boy, does Oregon need to win. Probably the biggest surprise at number 14 is the BYU Cougars. I know they were expecting a game with Washington, but with the way the Pac-12 has been, there is no way BYU was going to accept a game 
and there is and Washington has already you know got a game scheduled back with Utah, so they're probably going to play Utah instead of BYU. Uh, BYU need, is probably going to need another game with the Power 5 opponent on it, and the only ones that are available is from the Pac-12, and that's not a good sign if you want to go to the playoff. Not a good sign, especially with the years Zach Wilson has been having. Yeah, you know, we, we get it. The, the schedule was absolutely destroyed by COVID. Missouri didn't want to come up to play, you know, Three patch twelve teams that they had on the schedule didn't want to do it. Um, I think there was one or two. Yeah, there was like one or two. You know, ACC schools that said, "Hey, we're not doing this. We're we're gonna schedule inferior opponents." So BYU had to remake it again. We we've been over this like three or four times already this season, and that BYU has had to remake their schedule. And you know, it's not the greatest schedule in the world, but they remade it. They got it done. They got 10 games back on the schedule. And BYU had knocked out a ranked team. They had knocked out Boise State from the rankings. So that was their only ranked win as of right now. And that team got knocked out of the rankings that quick. <clears throat> so a big time showdown will be Saturday, I mean Friday, actually, for. Um, Potentially first place in the Big 12, Iowa State of Texas. We'll talk about that in a moment as soon as this video goes up. Um, North Carolina is at 19. They have a big matchup also on Friday with Notre Dame. Number 20, Coastal Carolina. Congrats, boys. You're undefeated. You know, it pretty, it speaks to how little the committee likes, you know, teams that aren't for the American and maybe the Mountain West as well. Uh, but we don't see any Mountain West teams in this ranking. But Coastal Carolina is undefeated in the rankings. Number 20, number 21, also undefeated. Has had their games canceled up the ass. Marshall, also undefeated. Great season by Grant Wells and company out there in West Virginia. Again, I already talked about Auburn being number 22. Number 23, Oklahoma State, despite the fact that they got absolutely throttled by Oklahoma. There's in the rankings. Very surprising that Iowa is in the rankings. Um, that's the only other surprise that's in the rankings. Iowa now has a ranked game. They'll be ranked going to their game, I think. I'm not sure who they play on. Oh yeah, I think they play Nebraska. But, you know. Um, so yeah, there's the top 25. It's right there. Um, I haven't got thumbnail stuff ready already and the season we're looking for a sprint all the way to December 19th now you know and the conference championship games have been announced too for times and stuff like that but we'll talk about that when we get to that point hopefully everything goes you know well but COVID hasn't COVID has not been kind it has not been kind to us at all so but yeah there's a lot of things that need to be done here that need to be said. I think, you know, for Ohio State to move a little bit higher, they have to they have to keep hoping for some W's by Northwestern. They have to do that. Notre Dame and Clemson, it looks like they're going to go head to head all the way to it to the ACC championship. And unless North Carolina can do something about that, unless somebody can upset Clemson, you know, it, there will be at least one ACC team in a playoff, and don't forget about little old Miami down there. They're 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 not out of the race yet for the ACC crown. Alabama, the only thing they have to worry about may be Florida, unless Florida loses a game. Now Alabama can't be too careful themselves. They have to keep winning themselves. A and M in a great position also. They just have to keep winning. They could they could easily find themselves in the top four. I know, surprising, right? I haven't watched an A&M game since they got throttled at Alabama. So they could find themselves in the top four. Cincinnati, Cincinnati, what can they do to get into the top four? They just got to hope. They got to hope right now. And 
there is a lot of potential for teams to lose ahead of them in the next couple weeks, and they could be leapfrogged as well. You never know. As far as the Big 12 goes, it looks like Oklahoma and Iowa State are in the best position. I mean, it's a weird year anyway, so maybe two losses might not cut it for, you know, getting eliminated from playoff contention based on where Georgia is at number nine. But yeah, it's going to do it for my rankings reaction. Um, tune in in about maybe 20, 25 minutes or so, and I'll talk to you about week 13 of college football. See you then, everybody.